What's up YouTube? I'm Laura and you're watching Atomic Adventures and Reviews and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going on a different kind of an adventure. So hop on in the car with me and we're going to go to Aldi grocery store. Have you ever been to an Aldi's? Oh my god you guys, if you have not you're missing out. Um, this is a grocery store that is a, I guess you could say a distant cousin to Trader Joe's. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, for a few years, the, me and the Atomic family moved to Illinois. And in Illinois, at least in the Rockford area, all the grocery stores are a dime a dozen. You can get them, you can get them on every corner pr practically. Uh, but here in Arizona, it is new and there are so many Arizona people that do not know what an Aldi grocery store is or have never been. So we're going to go and I'm going to show you what you're missing out on if you haven't taken a trip into one of their stores. So this is what Aldi looks like, okay? It's just, it's a very small grocery store. But that is the logo for Aldi so that you guys know what to look for if you go to hunt down this grocery store. This is in northern Peoria. Um, I'm going to flip the camera real quick and I'll talk to you a little bit more. Okay, so this location that we're going to is in northern Peoria, Arizona. Uh, they are opening more and more here. The first one I believe was in Avondale, but this location is closer to me. This one just opened up and I do have one that's opening up very close to my house. Um, hopefully soon, <laughs> but one thing you should uh, definitely know before going into an Aldi is if you want a shopping cart, you need a quarter. <laughs> they have their uh, grocery carts locked and the only way to get a cart is to put a quarter in and then the chain detaches and then you can use the cart uh, to you throughout the grocery store and to uh, bring your groceries to your car. But then in order to get your quarter back, you have to return the grocery cart back to where they are. Um, this is not only a way to keep the carts from being stolen, but also keeps costs down because they have they don't have to pay somebody to retrieve carts like at Walmart or at other grocery stores. So it's really smart. Uh, the prices here are incredible, you guys. They're awesome. And the reason their prices are great here is because Aldi uses private label purchasing. Um, so like, let's say you go and get a can of Green Giant Green Beans, right? At your local grocery store. Well, the Aldi grocery store will go and purchase that same product and slap their own label on it. So you are actually getting the same quality merchandise, food, product, etc. that you could possibly, you, you're probably getting in the regular grocery stores for the most part. Um, how do I know this? I actually tried to interview for this company um, back when I lived in Rockford and I decided not to take that job and I decided that I was going to work with animals instead. So it was really cool to see though, and they explained that to me, that they just use the private label and they literally just slap their own label onto well-known products. Huh, smart, and then they can charge less for it. So I'm so excited to go in here. I have not been in an Aldi in two years. <laughs> I missed it, I missed it so much. Um, so let's go inside and let's take a look. If I can turn off my camera, what the heck? Oh my God, I'm fired. these two cereals right here. I did break a tooth on these cereals one time.
use that. So it's as easy as that. I just gave you guys a little view of what kind of what it looks like in the grocery store. Uh, one of the ways that Aldi can keep their prices down and lower is that you have to bag your own groceries. Um, as you can see at the end, there was that giant counter. Uh, once you have purchased all your food or whatever you're buying, uh, you take your cart to that counter and you bag your own items. Um, they do not have free bags here, so you either have to bring reusable bags or purchase reusable bags. Um, I believe these giant bags that I just got in that picture uh, was $1.99 each. And then they do offer paper handle bags at a, just for pennies, really. They're cheap. They're maybe like five, ten cents. I can't remember what they were, but they're really cheap. Um, so always make sure that you bring bags. Otherwise, they do sometimes have boxes left over, like Costco or Sam's Club does, as well as there are people that literally just throw everything in the back of their car. <laughs> Um, I don't like doing that and since Aldi is here in the valley now here uh, in the Phoenix metro area I did buy the giant reusable bags because I will be back especially since they're opening one right by my house Everything that you buy is gonna be like a dollar to two dollars cheaper than what you would buy in any other grocery store as you could see um, they, That bottle of wine was only three dollars. What was it like two ninety five? dollars um, They're known for that bottle of wine, okay? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not the only thing that you can get crazy prices on. Like, I just got the knockoff version, their brand, basically, of the Grand's Breakfast Biscuits. You know, the flaky Grand's Biscuits. They're like $1.35. That is not something that you would find in even Walmart. Um, and all they did was do private label purchase and slap their label on the product. It's exactly the same. Now, I hope you guys saw that cereal that I pointed out. Um, don't ever buy that cereal. It's really good, but it's super, super crunchy and so crunchy that it actually broke a tooth right back here. Um, and I had to have like half that tooth right now is filled. It's, it's not even my tooth anymore. <laughs> Um, so don't buy that cereal though. Um, th they do have regular name brand products um, like Crest, like um, uh, the Pillsbury Crescent Biscuits. Um, there, there's plenty of name brand products there, but there's a lot of off-label stuff as well too. That's their own brand um, that they just basically put their label on and it is less expensive than if you would go buy it at any other grocery store. It is organized much, much different than a normal grocery store that you're used to. Um, and the cashiers, they actually get to sit, which is really cool. They get to sit while they're ringing you up. Um, the total for my cart was only $88. Um, would I have spent more in another grocery store? Absolutely. Did I have to do a little bit of extra work by taking my cart back and forth and not returning it to a cart return stall? Or, you know, I had to bag my own items. I had to, you know, purchase a reusable bag. Um, but it's only like the tiniest little inconvenience for you to save that much more money. Um, so I hope you guys liked the Aldi video. Um, I don't like to talk very much inside a grocery store like that just because I just think it's rude. <laughs> I mean, I could be overthinking that, but I just think it's rude when you're trying to film like a video and people are, you know, trying to concentrate, maybe counting their head, trying to make a budget, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's distracting. Uh, I don't think it's the best thing to do so that's why I wasn't really talking through the whole video but I wanted to give you guys a look of what you could get I mean it has a whole dairy section a frozen section produce section they have healthy um, organic products um, I got those protein bars uh, that are you know, technically a meal bar um, I like those at work because sometimes I don't even get a break at work um, so I'll just eat one of those really quick um, and then I mean it has everything cereal snacks uh, baked goods. Um, they have that huge section of seasonal non-food items. Like right now, because it's summer, they had beach chairs, sleeping bags, you know, camping items. And those things end up being clearanced out eventually if they don't sell. Um, but you can get some really great deals on those. And if, if you are a dumpster diver, I will tell you right now, Aldi is the best place to dumpster dive because anytime one of those non-food items are returned, they do not put them back on the shelf. Nope, they throw them in the garbage can. So if somebody purchases a sleeping bag and brings it back for whatever reason, that does not go back onto the sales floor, it goes back into the dumpster. So, <laughs> and the thing about Aldi is they don't care if you dumpster dive their dumpsters. 
I've been in an Aldi dumpster many times. Uh, I have a an awesome folding white table for camping that I got. You could use it for crafts, whatever, that I got out of an Aldi dumpster. Brand spanking new. I kid you not. Somebody just returned it for whatever reason and they're not going to resell it. So it goes boom right into the dumpster. Um, a lot of their box items and food items get thrown away um, just because they're close to the date. Um, I wouldn't recommend dumpster diving food in the summer of, uh, in the summer here in Arizona. That's not a good idea, um, just for obvious reasons. But uh, products that are not food items, hi, how are you? I have no problem jumping in a dumpster for that stuff, okay? Especially when it's really nice. Uh, so I highly recommend dumpster diving all tea. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys liked that video. And until the next one, peace out.